All right, boys and girls, today is the day we finally got off of our assets, and we're about to bust out and do a little bit of uh, break-in to our brand new Suzuki 140. So, Mama's over here. We're backing up the big truck of love, and uh, we're about to go slam her into the El Watar. Stand by. So consulting the handy dandy Suzuki DF-115A dash DF-115AS dash DF-140 Alpha book, we have a 10 hour break in period. The first five minutes is just in neutral. The next is going to be in gear. And then we have 15 minutes of that. And then after that, we can go up to 3000 RPM. So here we go, start the day. The wonderful thing about a Ponga you can put that son bitch in anywhere. I told you we could get her in. <laughs> Talk about some shallow water shit right here. So we about to slide on the booties, take off the front, and drop the engine down, and put her into gear, and start that five minute in neutral. Just run it. Ten hours of break in starting now. Motor's running, 1727. We got 15 minutes of, five minutes of just sitting in gear and we're just letting it idle in gear. And then we can bust her out and do about uh, 3,000 RPMs. And that will get her back to her rightful home on the ramp there. And then we can actually start the real break in of the next 10 hours of documented going out and doing something. Gawk. There she is, right back behind the house where she belongs. Now we're just gonna have to run her back up to 3,000 RPM, get the rest of the break in. Nine more hours to go. So here's like day number three of attempting to break in the brand new Suzuki. Boat, if you don't know what boat stands for, it's break out another thousand. We took a fuel sample today. Boat wasn't working, automatically cut off. Looks good, says you. Nay, says I. That's some damn good looking fuel. With the exception, it's not fuel, it's water. Uh huh. <laughs> Best two days in the boater's life. The day you buy the boat, the day you sail the boat. Here we are, we're still working on it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Operation Suck Suck Blow. This is removing water from our fuel tank. Because apparently it rained like three god dang weeks. This should work pretty good. There's your 10 seconds. Here we are, three gallons into siphoning the water out of the tank. I can tell you one thing, that gas isn't supposed to look like that. Here's a fuel sample. It's not good. Still got water in there. So now we've taken another gallon out of this. It's looking a lot clearer. And they still had a couple little beads of water in the last fuel sample, but I think we're ready to crack the fuel filter and check it out again. So you see this little filter right there, that's the shit that we got to get out. Now, I'm going to assume that we take these two off and move that. This whole episode will pull up because there's no way in God's green earth that I'm putting my big ass ham hocks back there. Note to self, this is a metric fucking bolt. It's dark, we've uh, changed filters, and here we go. Let's see what she does. She's trying. Oh, 
Almost. There she is. She's running again. Removed the filters. Took out all the water. Cranked her up. A little dockside <laughs> sunset maintenance with the Admiral. I don't want to be on Continuing on to the break in phase. Got all the other phrasing is done. A little five minutes of warming up. We're going to push her off the dock. Go chase sunset. <laughs> 